Hello, class 8 again. And today we are going to learn unit 8, Dangers of Junk Food. So before that, please subscribe the channel and like the video. So, dangers of junk food. What is junk food? First of all, you need to understand what is junk food. And let me tell you, junk foods are the foods which are least in nutritious value but high in calories or fat. And these junk foods covers cereals, candy, chips, cookies, cheese, cold drinks, sodas, ice cream, gum, fries, fries, which are not homemade food. The foods which are not homemade food and which are high in calories or fat are called junk foods. Well, now let us do the first task. Okay, first one. Pre prepare a list of junk food that you know. So, as I already told you, some name of the junk food you can write from here. So, here's serial number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And here will be the name of the junk foods. You can simply write from here. One. Cereals, candies, chips, cookies, cheese, pops, biscuits, noodles, french fries, gum, ice cream, sodas, cold drinks, and most sweet desserts. These are all junk foods. So you can write the name of these junk foods. In the table here, here, see so simply write down. Next one, look at the pictures below and discuss the varieties of food. So, first one, this one, this is called thali, typical Nepali food. Thali, this is called what? Thali. Next one, this one is called cold drinks or soft drinks. And this one is called hamburger or simply write down burger. Next one, this is French fries. And this one is hot dog. Again, this one, thali. This one, soft drinks or cold drinks. This one, French fries. And then this one, hamburger or burger. And this one is called hot dog. Well, read the following text and underline the important points. We need to underline the important points. However, I'm going to underline those important points at the end of the lesson. So, junk food should be banned. It says, the topic of your lesson says junk food, which are unhealthy. These foods should be banned, should be prohibited from eating. We will discuss doing the activities. So, first one. Read the text above and fill in the gaps with correct words from the box. Harmful. Firstly, uh, know the meaning of these words. Harmful means injurious, which is not healthy, which is uh, injurious to health. Harmful. Violent means not peaceful, like conflicting violent. Appealing means appealing mean attractive. Attractive. Calories, you know, a full substance found in foodstuffs, and then global mean worldwide, worldwide, and then culture. Culture mean beliefs or values. Culture mean beliefs or values, and then obesity mean being overweight. Obesity mean overweight or being fat. Addictives mean. A habit for me, which is enjoyable. Addictives again, enjoyable. And preservatives mean any agent that acts to preserve. Any agent that acts to prevent. Okay, A number. TV advertisements for junk food look very, very what? TV advertisements for junk food look very. Appealing and then so is appealing that means attractive. That's why people want to buy and eat. B number 
junk foods are low in nutritional value but high in i told you earlier but high in calories answer is calories c number pop music and junk food have become they become what they become global culture pop music and junk food have become global culture c number the increase of junk food is directly associated with an increase in what obesity the more you eat junk food the more you gain the weight the more you eat junk foods the more you gain the weight you will be fat if you eat more junk food e number children who are used to taking junk food are likely to become become what they will become what Mm, violent. They will become violent later in life. Children who are used to taking junk food are likely to become violent later in life. Last but not least, junk food is very bad to health. Very what harmful. That means not healthy. Harmful to health. Okay, now let me write down the answer. Okay, now I have written down the answer here. A number TV advertisements for junk food look very appealing or appealing. Next answer calories. Third global culture. Next obesity. And then E numbers answer violent. And then F numbers answer age harmful. Next activity. Two number. Read the passage and find eight words from the following and write their meanings. You may use a dictionary. One is done for you, so one is already done. Decay means decay means gradual damage. Again, let me give you the answer. Okay, the first word is microorganism, and microorganism means an organism too small to be seen by unaided eye. That means an organism or living things, living things which are very small, very small to be seen by naked eyes. Again, microorganism means an organism too small to be seen by unaided eye, or a microscopic organism, especially of bacteria, virus, or fungus. Two number second word is grocery, and grocery is. Items of food or foodstuffs. You can simply write foodstuffs or items of food sold in a grocery or supermarket. A grocery means a store that sells food and small things or commodities, basic goods such as oil, wheat, grains. Grocery could be food items or it could be a store or shop that sells food and small things or commodities. Third one is nutritious, and then nutritious. The meaning of nutritious is containing many of the substances needed for life and growth, like nourishing, healthful, or health giving. Again, nutritious means containing many of the substances needed for life and growth. And then fourth word is cafe. Cafe means a small restaurant selling light meals and drinks. Cafe. The synonyms of cafe is coffee shop, or buffet, or cafeteria, or cafe bar, or snack bar, or tea room, or tea shop. And then the ninth word is. And the fifth word is decay. Decay means gradual damage, as it is given in your book. Or decay means the state or process of rooting or decomposition. Or it is called. It is also called breakdown or spoil or deteriorate, degrade, decompose, rot or uh, petrify. However, you can simply write one answer. And this um, sixth word is cholesterol. Cholesterol mean, means a waxy, fat-like substance made in the liver and found in the blood and in all cells of the body. 
Again, cholesterol means a waxy fat-like substance made in the liver, made in the liver and found in the blood and in all cells of the body. And the seventh word is hyperactive. Hyperactive means overactive or extremely active or abnormally active or extremely active. It also means showing constantly active and disruptive or troublesome behavior. Showing constantly active and disruptive or troublesome behavior. The next word is distracted, the last one. Distracted. Distracted means diverted or instead of being distracted, absent minded or absurd, unable to concentrate because one is preoccupied by something worrying or on pleasure. So these are the answers of this word. Next one. Read and answer. The next activity is read the passage and write true or false against the following statements. A number. Junk food advertisements on television do not attract us and the answer is false. They do attract us. A is in your passage. Let me show you. A is in the passage. It says junk foods and the TV advertisement look appealing look at this look appealing appealing mean attractive and when they look attractive or appealing they attract us so answer is false age the statement says junk food advertisements on television do not attract us and the answer is false next one b number an increase in junk food is directly associated with an increase in tooth decay again the answer is true yes an increase in junk food is directly associated with an increase in tooth decay. If you eat junk food, then your tooth may decay. Next one. Should I show you the answer? Okay, let me. Okay. So, your answer lies over here. Okay, look at this. An increase in consumption of junk food is directly associated with the increase in obesity, heart disease, blah, 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 and then to the decay. So, if you consume junk food, then your tooth may decay. Next one. See number children these days drink coke more than fruit juice and the answer is true again. Yes, we all know children these days drink coke more than fruit juice. D number. If pregnant women eat junk food, they can give birth to fat children and the answer is true again. Should I tell you the answer again? Okay. Let me tell you the answer. Okay, look at this. This mothers who eat junk food while pregnant or breastfeeding have children who are prone to obesity. Look, mothers who eat junk food while pregnant or when they are breastfeeding, then their children would be more likely to be obese. Sensor is true. Last, I guess. Okay. Noodles are junk food and the answer is true again. I have only written down A, F, T, 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 T. However, you need to write the uh, entire spelling like F, L, A, S, E, false and T, R, U, E, true. So, noodles are junk food. We all know noodles are junk food. However, if you want me to show you again the answer, then, then, then let me show you. Let me, let me, look at this. Okay, look, noodles. Junk food can cover cereals, candies, chips, cookies, cheese, pops, biscuits, noodles. Have you seen them? Okay, now next task. Next one, I think we need to do the question answers. Answer the following questions. A number, name some places where junk foods are easily available. So, again, 
First of all, let me give you the answer and then I will tell you where are the answer lies. The answer of question number A. The name of some places where junk foods are easily available are given below. 1. Grocery store. 2. Department stores. And 3. Fast food restaurant, etc. Question number B. How is junk food defined? Okay, according to your lesson, it is defined as the foods that contain little nutritious value but are high in calories, fat, sugar, salt or caffeine such as cereals, candies, chips, cookies, cheese, puff, biscuits, noodles, french fries, gum, ice cream, soda, cold drinks and most sweet desserts. Desserts. So this is the answer of question number B. Question number C. Despite being aware of disadvantages of junk foods, why do we eat them? We all know these junk foods are not healthy. They have disadvantages or problems. Even though we eat, why? The question is asking why. And the answer is, despite being aware of disadvantages of junk foods, we eat them because they are, because they have high satisfactory value. Why do we eat? Because junk foods have high satisfactory value. This is the answer. Now question number D. How can you say that junk food has become a global culture? How can you say? that the junk food has become a global culture and the answer is again people are too busy in their day-to-day -day life and they are always feeling tense to manage their time even for food so people are very busy they are very busy that they cannot even cook their food for themselves however junk foods are available all over the world they are busy to cook their food also and junk foods are available all over the world. Hence, junk food has become the global culture. Look, junk foods are available all over the world, all over the world. Hence, or that is why junk food has become the global culture. Everyone is consuming it. The junk foods are available all over the world. That's why junk foods has become the global culture. In number, what are two major problems with junk food? What are two major problems with junk food? And the answer is again, two major problems with junk food are given below. First, junk foods have a high satisfactory value. That is why many people consume it even though they know it is not healthy. All people know junk food are unhealthy, but they eat because these junk foods have high satisfactory value. It will, you know, junk food satisfy you, make you content. That's why people eat. Next one, second, junk food tend to, to replace other more nutritious food. When you eat junk foods, you avoid homemade food or healthy food. And this is another problem, another major problem. Next question, do you agree that junk food should be banned? And the answer is, an increase in consumption of junk food is directly associated with, a, with the increase in obesity, heart disease, blood, high blood pressure, certain type of cancer, and tooth decay. Furthermore, it triggers brain to want more junk food, make children obese, hyperactive, hyperactive, distracted, violent, and causes diabetes, raised cholesterol, high blood pressure. Therefore, I agree that junk foods should be banned. Because junk foods are disadvantageous, they have many problems, they are unhealthy, junk food should be banned. However, these are my answers. You can give your own answers. The next question is C number, activate yourself. Make a list of the merits and demerits. Merits mean advantages and demerits mean disadvantages. 
of junk food and paste it on the wall of your class or school so now let me give you the advantages and disadvantages well so here merits of junk foods one easy junk foods are easy quick and time saving it can save your time when you whenever you are busy next one faster than homemade or other nutritious food junk foods are faster you don't have to prepare it you know are dedicating lots of time so junk foods are faster than homemade or other nutritious food these are the advantages third junk foods are available everywhere at any time so you are hungry you don't have to cook you don't have to prepare and wait and eat you just have to buy and it is available everywhere at any time so this is another advantage or merits available everywhere anytime phone number affordable you can purchase it not so expensive reasonable the price of junk foods are reasonable not very expensive so this is another advantage or merits fifth one satisfactory again satisfactory when you eat junk foods it make you satisfied it make you contained unlike homemade food when you eat homemade food you will not be satisfied but when you eat junk foods you will be satisfied the taste is better so these are the advantage or merits last but not least children's favorite you know nowadays children do not like most of the children and eh, not all most of the children do not like homemade food or nutritious or healthy food but they like junk foods they eat junk foods because they like they love and these are the merits now let me give you the demerits or disadvantages first demerits is unhealthy junk foods are unhealthy they are harmful to your health this is first demerits second one addictive like habit forming when you eat junk foods it become your habit to eat it on daily basis you do not like homemade or nutritious food you just want the junk foods more and more more and more so this is another disadvantage or demerits addictive next one third one tend to replace homemade nutritious and healthy foods look junk foods tend to replace homemade or nutritious and and then and healthy foods when you eat junk foods you do not want to eat homemade or nutritious or healthy foods you just want to keep eating those junk foods or healthy foods so this is another disadvantage fourth one make you obese it make you fat it 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 it, it makes you fat it makes you obese it makes you overweight so this is another disadvantage or demerits fifth one cause serious medical conditions such as tooth decay diabetes high blood pressure cholesterol heart disease cancer and many more so if you eat junk foods it can cause to decay diabetes blood pressure and other serious issues and sixth one is make children hyperactive and violent according to your lesson junk foods make the children hyperactive and violent you can write these merits and demerits in your copy or in the chart paper and paste it on your classroom so well so your answers will look like this first one merits here and then next one demerits next question okay time for grammar engage yourself what will you do if you win a cash prize study the following and have a similar conversation so the first lady is saying that if she wins okay i'm gonna just read whatever is written here if i win the cash prize i'll give it to my mother okay the boy is saying 
But I'll visit the new city if I win it. And the third person is saying that no, I will save it. And the next person, I'll give treat to my friends. And then another person is saying that I'll buy a pair of sneakers. So we have just read. Now let's do another task. One number. Now pick the correct words to complete the sentence sense. So the sentence is all about conditional sentence sense. So let's practice this. A number. Lakshmi Prasad Dev Koda could have lived longer if he hadn't smoked so heavily. Your answer. This one is the correct answer. Lakshmi Prasad Dev Koda could have lived longer. If he hadn't smoked so heavily, I say these statements, these um, sentences are of conditional. Conditional means imaginary. Like Lakshmi Prasad Dev Koda could have lived longer. If he, that means he didn't live longer because he didn't quit smoking so heavily. Here, look. These are unreal, eh? These are unreal. Okay, B number. We want to go swimming if it rains. Look, we want to go simple future and then simple past. The structure. Simple future plus simple past. Sorry, simple present. Or simple present plus simple future. We want to go swimming if it rains. C number, if Dolma had cooked dinner, it would be chicken and this one is not end, this is end, A, N, D, end, do correction in a book and rice. Again, if Dolma had cooked dinner, it would be chicken and rice. D number, whenever Ajay passes by the number D, whenever Ajay passes by the freeze, he opens it. Again, answer. Whenever Ajay passes by the phrase, he opens it. Next, in number. If Buddha had eaten in the restaurant, he would have been sick. Again, answer. If Buddha had eaten in the restaurant, he would have been sick. F number. If I played football, I would play at the school field. Again, if I played football, I would play at the school field. Next one, G number. The cycle stops if you hold the brake. Again, what? The cycle stops if you hold the brake. The cycle stops if you hold the brake. H. If you come to my home, I will show you my new television. If you come to my home, I will show you my new television. I number. How would you go to school if you miss your school bus? How would you go to school if you miss your school bus? J number. If my brother had not been ill, he would have been a doctor. If my brother, answer is, had not been ill, he would have been a doctor. Next, to number, match the following conditionals with your main clause. If you smoke a lot, then what will happen? The result. The result of this action, either. If you smoke a lot, then what will happen? You will suffer from tuberculosis or TB. This one is the answer. If she asked me for health, what will you do? If she asked me for health, I would be instantly ready. And the answer is, I would be instantly ready. Next, Radha would win the prize. Radha would win the prize if she sang well. If she sang well, then Radha would win the prize. Second last, I would have joined the Malaysian course if I had passed the SLC in first division. Again, uh, 
I would have joined the Mauritian course if I had passed the SLC in first division. Last but not least, if the weather is good, we will go for a picnic. If the weather is good, we will go for a picnic. Now make five conditional sentences to express your plan for the near future. Okay, now let me give you the answer here. Okay, here is the note. Look at this note. First conditional, I have only used your first conditional, so it would be easier for you to understand and learn. So structures here, if plus simple present plus simple future. What is the structure? If plus simple present plus simple future. Okay, I number. If I pass my final terminal examination, I will enroll to grade 9. That means I will join class 9. Next, two, two number. If I enroll to grade 9, I will study laboriously and score good marks. Third one, if I score good marks, my parents and teachers will be happy with me. Simple present plus simple future. Four number, if I make them happy, they will love me more. If I make them happy, they will love me more. And then fifth one, if they love me more, I will do even better. If they love me more, I will even do better. Next one. Listening, you are going to do with the help of your English teacher. Okay, next. So let us see. Okay, okay. Speaking, you will practice this at school. Okay, now study practice the following debate in the class. So debate mental power versus physical strength. You will read by yourself. Okay, next one. Now it's your turn. Express your views on the topic. Word is stronger than sword. Or sort again now let me give you the answer okay now it's your turn express your views on the topic word is stronger than sword or make debate on pain is mightier than the sword okay answer is the phrase word is stronger than sword literally means writing is a more powerful tool than violence. So what is the meaning of this phrase? The meaning of this phrase word is stronger than sword or the pain is mightier than sword is writing is more powerful tool than violence. The original adage is the pain is mightier than the sword. It was created by English author Edward Bulwer Layton in 1839. In, 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 in what? 1839. It indicates that the written word is more effective than violence. What is more effective? The written word is more effective than violence. Okay, now, in my opinion, the, the written word is more effective than violence because violence creates hatred, destruction, and tensions. In contrary, written word creates sisterhood or brotherhood, peace, and ensures world fraternity. Ensures word fraternity. For example, destruction, cited conflict resulted by World War I and World War II. And peace and brotherhood resulted by various international treaties and conventions. These international treaties and conventions are written word day. Eh? That means pain. These written words made the world better place. Let us continue. Next, violence is always defeated by writing and is never succeeded. What is defeated by writing? The violence. And the violence is never succeeded. Adolf Hitler, who chose violence defeated so, he took his own life. On the other hand, Malala Yousafzai, a Pakistani uh, 
what Pakistani revolutionaries okay wait wait wait, wait. Malala Yousafzai who chose the writing for raising her voice and awareness activist okay finally I remember Malala Yous Yousafzai is uh, a Pakistani activist so again let me continue Malala Yousafzai would choose to writing for raising her voice and awareness on girls education defeated violence of Taliban and succeeded she even defeated her own death what she even defeated her own death in the context of Nepal various writings have brought several positive changes changes the violence could have not brought to illustrate, such a system came to an end when Chandra Samser amended law against it, against it in written form. Similarly, Constitution of Nepal, various acts are playing important role in bringing the changes in the country. All in all, that means in conclusion, Pain creates peace, brings fraternity, success and positive changes. I, therefore, strongly believe that the word is stronger than the sword or the pain is mightier than the sword. Okay, now next one. Five number writing engage yourself. Do you ever write letters to your family members or get letters? And nowadays we do not write letters. So I have given the answer here. Well, instead of letters or in the place of letters, I usually write emails to my family and get mails or emails from them. From them mean from my family members. Two number how can writing letters to be useful in suggesting people. How can writing letters be useful in suggesting people? And the answer is letters allow the person to express his point of view or thoughts on certain matter. Thus, writing letters can be useful suggesting people. Again, these are my answer. You can add more information in this answer or you can write different answers than mine. Next question, write a short letter to your younger brother or sister asking him or her not to eat junk food because it is harmful to health. Begin like this, Ganeshpur 7, Rantola, Dadal Dura, 14 January 2012, oh my gosh, 2012, dear Das, okay, now let me give you the answer again. So here is the answer. Dear sister or brother, you can choose anyone. If you want to write a letter to your sister, write dear sister. If you want to write to your brother, then write dear brother only. Do not write both. Dear sister or brother, how are you? Here, I am fine and doing great. My dear lovely sister or brother, I am writing to you in order to request you to stop eating junk foods as you eat these foods a lot. So your sister is eating lots of junk foods and you are asking her not to eat these foods. You know, health is wealth and you are what you eat and the junk foods are unhealthy. However, you have been feeding yourself only junk foods. These foods are not healthy because these foods are high in calories, fat, sugar, salt or caffeine and they contain little nutritious value. Continue. There are various problems with junk foods. Firstly, they have high satisfactory value. That's why you are consuming it even though you know they are unhealthy. Secondly, junk foods tend to replace other more nutritious foods and you are also avoiding homemade nutritious foods and eating junk foods only. Thirdly, an increase in junk food is directly associated with the increase in obesity, heart disease, high blood pressure, diabetes, cholesterol, certain types of cancer and tooth decay. 
Similarly, these foods make you hyperactive and violent as well. That is why I am worried about your health. I am therefore asking you not to eat junk foods anymore. I hope you will take care of your health. Your elder sister or brother, your name. Write down your name here in the bracket. Well, next activity is... So, your um, letter to your brother or sister will look like this. See this? Next question. Write a letter describing something to someone or requesting someone to do something. So I have written the letter requesting someone to do something again. So Pokhara, 22 September 2022. Dear Bestie, how have you been doing? I have been doing great here. Dear Bestie, I am writing to you in order to ask you to collect my three books. My English book, essay book and a dictionary from our friend Samrat and hand over to my uncle. He is, that means uncle, is visiting to his or her house this week and I have requested him to bring those books along. Last month, Samrat borrowed the books but he could not return to me because I came here to live with my arm and he didn't get to know it. Now I lost contact with him but I need those books because my first term is about a strap. Therefore I request you to do this favor to me, your friend and then write down your name.